Hi, my name is Darren. In several videos, we have discussed foreign non grantor trusts, not necessarily as a task planning tool, but a tool that maximizes asset protection as well as succession planning, particularly for those international families and with assets located outside of the US. So they're located internationally. But I think a fair criticism is that we didn't touch too much on foreign grantor trust. On previous videos, we did get into details that distinguish the difference between a foreign and a domestic trust as well as a grantor versus a non-grantor trust. If you missed those, please have a look at them. Now, with a foreign grantor trust, it's typically a fantastic tool, not just for asset protection and succession planning, but for tax planning as well. What do we mean by that? Well, it allows certain tax benefits. Number one, it would allow the distribution from the trust to U.S. beneficiaries tax-free because it will be considered a gift from the grantor. Typically, uh, a non-resident alien patriarch of the family it tends to be in our experience. And during their life, they are able and sometimes willing to distribute gifts to their U.S. beneficiaries, and they will be free of tax. Of course, it needs to be declared on the appropriate forms, but generally speaking, there would be no tax implication from a U.S. point of view. Two, you get what we call a step up in basis. So upon the unfortunate demise of the patriarch, then the foreign grantor trust becomes a foreign non-grantor trust. And the value of the assets in the trust experience is generally speaking a step up in basis. So that could be helpful if in the future the US beneficiaries or the trustees want to liquidate any of the assets. Obviously, the, the delta, the difference between the fair market value and the basis would be minimized, all things being equal. And thirdly, that foreign grantor trust is able to invest in the U.S. and experience long-term capital gains at a reduced or tax-free. I mean, generally speaking, for non-resident aliens investing in, let's say, in securities, capital gains are tax-free. The exception to that rule when it comes to U.S. sites as assets would, of course, be real estate. So U.S. real property assets under FRIPTA, under the FRIPTA regime, mean that any investment in real estate will be subject to capital gains as it would be for any other taxpayer. But if you're talking about securities, it's an opportunity to enjoy tax-free capital gains. So those are three examples where a foreign grantor trust can be an interesting structure from an international tax optimization point of view.